previously on The Bill. Is it Shay Pello? Oh, yeah. Martin Porter? Ah! Is it you, Simon? I'll tell you later. I've been wanting to get it cut short. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's get this over with. It's Nick again. Just give us a call when you get this message, all right, darling? Bye. Staring at the sky and dragging my two feet. You just walk on by. It still makes me cry. Are they being serious? Yes, they are. Song found dead at Song Hill. Foul play suspected. Get a new joke booth for Christmas, Sarge. <laughs> Thank you, Des. So how come you never got up and gave a song then, Sarge? Uh, well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, go on, give us one now, Sarge. Oh, yeah, and Sarge, if you could put us all on light duties as well, that'd be very kind of you, thanks. Yeah, we've got a cracking schedule today. Has anyone seen Cass yet? No, she didn't turn up last night either. I had to stand in and do a star turn for her. Nick, have you seen her? No, Sarge, no. Hey, you were supposed to be getting up last night. What happened? I was too busy. Nice handbag. <laughs> I thought so, too. Doesn't go with a tie, though, does it? <laughs> right, can we get started, please? Kerry! Oh, I don't know. It's lost property. Where was it found? My neighbour picked it up in Garner Street. Let's have a look. Some keys. There's no wallet or mobile. Hang on, it is. It is Cassie's handbag. This is the song. This is the song she was going to do with us. No, I already have more jobs than I can assign offices to. Yeah, I'm sure. It's just that she's been missing since last night. Just, Nick, um... you were supposed to be at the mall five minutes ago. I know, but... Look, it's the run-up to Christmas. The shoplifters and pickpockets will be out in force. I want you down there now. Yeah, I know, Sergeant. Just... Forget it! Inspector Gold's already on her way. Well, I'll soon catch her up and I can be at the mall in, what, no time of... Oh. Thank you. Whoa, Dennis, Reg, come out. <laughs> Listen, you can run me by Cass's flat and take a 50. I said no! Nice. Ah, Gemma, a word. Yes. We really missed you last night and um, hope everything's okay. I'll speak to you soon, love, yeah? Okay, bye. Excuse me, I'd like to report a theft. Yeah, if you could uh, take a seat, I'll be in a minute. My dog has been stolen. I said, excuse me! And I said, take a seat, I'll be with you in a minute. Now wait your turn, please! Hiya, Carrie. It's Robbie. You don't happen to have Simon's mobile number, do you? Cass? 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 She's not here. She's got her. No, 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 she's not here. It doesn't look like she was back here either. Have you tried her mobile? Right. Simon's number, no, I don't have it. What do you want that for? Yeah, well, why don't you try him at work? Thank you, Robbie. Right. So, what's going on? No, you listen to me. If there's something you know, something Cass might have done... Nothing, she ain't done. ..good or bad... Now is the time to tell me. There's nothing. She ain't done anything and neither have I. It's him. It's him. Mr Barlow? Hmm? Where was your dog stolen? Three days ago. How do you know it's been stolen? 
how do you know it isn't just lost or it's fallen in the... Because I know who's stolen it, my soon-to-be ex-wife. I know she's got him because I can hear him barking. Right. And now she refuses to let him out or open the door. She lives at the other end of the boat. Your wife? She agreed I could have the dog. Careful there. He's bred four champions. He's my property, and now she's refusing to give him back. And she lives here? Not here. There. She got the budgie and, and just about everything else. I got this end of the, the boat and the dog, my dog. Here, Tyson. Tyson, Tyson, my lovely boy. Have you spoken to your wife, Mr. Barnes? I've tried. But when I get a stupid little note shoved over and under the door... Excuse me. I think that must be the, um, the locksmith. And that's why we're here, because of the dog. Yeah. Uh, do you think Cass will be all right? She'll be fine. Yeah. Well, I suppose if anyone knows how to look after himself. So. Yeah. Cass hasn't come in today, and we will... We don't know where she is, and I was wondering if, um... Well, someone died. Cass is missing. Yeah, I heard. There's no sign of her anywhere. Look, she's probably gone out. She's met some bloke, had a night out on the bifters, and now she's woke up to find that he's not quite the David Beckham looking like she thought he was. Now she's laying there trapped, wondering, do I lie still and hope he rolls over? Do I chew my own arm off? <laughs> Yeah, right. I'm sure that's what her parents are thinking, too. It's just as much my door and my lock as hers. I think it's best if you don't get involved, maybe you wait outside. But what if she doesn't open the door? Mrs Barlow? Mrs Barlow, your husband says you've got his dog in there. What does it say this time? It is my dog. I chose him, I bought him, he's mine. Look, are you going to get my dog back or not? Zero one from Sierra Oscar. Receiving, excuse me. Tyson! 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 Oh, come to daddy, come to daddy then. Hey, what's she done to you, eh? Hey, what's she done to you, my lovely boy, my lovely boy? All's well, then. <laughs> what are these stitches? No. No, no, no! To him. Have you seen what she's done to him? The dog looks as though he's been, you know. I'll get her for this. I'll get you for this! Oh, yes, I will! Oh, yes, I will! Just calm down, Mr Barlow. Calm down? Have you seen what she's done to my dog? She's ruined him! I don't want a dog with no things. Sorry, mate, we've got to go. Come on, Reddy, babe, now! What is it? There's a body been found in the water. Doc. I better get down there. We should know in a minute. Okay. You've been to a flat? Yep, nothing. What do you think? Cass would have called in. I've told Jack and he's informed MIT. Well, well is it her? It's gone. What? Ripped away by the tide or the current or whatever. Oh, no. Better call the river boys. It's gonna be halfway to Kemp by now. Oh, they never know. Hey? I'm not letting them touch her. She was ours. I never know. Stranger. Listen, we don't even know if it was here. That fella couldn't tell us whether it was male, female, or a piece of wood. Yeah, well, why isn't anybody down here? Why aren't they doing anything? Why, why, why aren't they taking this seriously, mate? 140 from 33. 
Then this is all I need. 140 from 3-3, you're receiving, over. Yeah, 140 receiving, here we go. Return to Sun Hill ASAP, Nick. The DCI wants a word. DCI? Taking it seriously now. When did you last see Kaz? Last night. Yesterday during the shift. And how was she? Rattled. Yeah, I think she was all right. I didn't really speak to her. There's nothing troubling her? No. She wanted to finish with Simon once and for all. We'd been at Amber's flat. That's Pello's girlfriend. Cass had moved her into a friend's house, but had to go back for some of her stuff. She said Shane just suddenly appeared. And then from nowhere, Kitson turns up and saves the day. Did he? That's why she gave him the ticket to Cop Idol. One minute she hates him, and the next suddenly he's being a hero. I thought, we all thought, Simon, he must be following her. Followed? No, Cass never mentioned it to me. But it wouldn't surprise me. I never liked Simon. He's an idiot. What about Martin Porter? And what about him? I thought he caused trouble. Yeah, but... Didn't he attack Kerry? Yeah, um... He did. Martin hit me and then Cass arrested him. It was Cass who persuaded me I should press charges. And how did Martin react to that? Well, he wasn't very happy. <laughs> no. But it didn't bother Cass. No? No. It was like she suddenly got her focus back. Yeah, you know, she'd been messed around so much by Simon and she decided enough was enough. She called him, she left him a message and he texted her back. I think Kerry said they arranged to meet at the Peddler's Bar. On Gunner Street? You better ask her, but I'm pretty sure that's the one. And I wanted to go with her. But she said she'd be fine. I was so busy organising that stupid bloody cop idol thing. Is that it then? Yeah, thanks. I'm sorry. No, 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 you've been a great help. Where have you been? I thought you were dealing. We got called away. Oh, you mean you left? They found a body in the river. What do you want us to do? Take bets on it? Yeah, well, now two people are on their way to hospital. Why, what happened? Come on, see if you're safe. Apparently, Mrs. Barlow had a budgie. Not anymore, though. Uh. Look, we're all on edge about Cass, I know that, and everything else might seem petty. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, eh? Sarge. You still here? thinking. But this geezer really didn't even know what he saw, did he? I mean, like Des said, it could have been a log. Sorry, mate, I don't know what you're talking about. Cass. Oh. I mean, she's not dead, I, I know she ain't dead. Look, if she's done something stupid, which wouldn't surprise me, she's probably I told it back to Liverpool. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's probably... Sat at home right now in her mum and dad's front room, weeping on the couch. Cause this land's the place I love, and here I'll stay. She wouldn't leave. There's no way. And I'm gonna find her. Yep, take this. I don't have a spare, mate. News. CCTV from outside the wine bar, sir. Good evening, sir. And then it looks like she headed up towards Gunner Street and vanished. That all? Well, apparently she was at the bar for half an hour. I would definitely say she was waiting on someone, sir. Any footage there? No. Nope. Have you checked to see if she comes back later? Sir. There's lots of reasons why she could have gone missing, sir. Duncan's briefed MIT, but if we just sit back and wait... I agree. 
go for it until we hear otherwise. Sir. Well, obviously, Simon Kitson's the person we want to talk to the most, but there's no sign of him. So to be on the safe side, we've got Martin Porter coming in. And we're trying to locate Shane Pello. Good. We're looking for Simon. Simon? Is he in? No. Do you know where he is? He's at work. No, he's not. He hasn't been seen there all day. What's happened? Duncan? One of our officers, you know her, Cass Rickman? She's missing. But what's that got to do with Simon? I'm sorry, Miss Kitson. We have a warrant to search these premises. Thank you. So when did he leave this morning? After breakfast. Did he say where he was going? No. Is there some kind of special place that he gave us to, you know, like a bolt hole or a flat? <laughs> no, I don't think so. So you've no idea where he is then? No. Duncan's in the office. So, does he make a habit, then, of just disappearing to somewhere that nobody can find him or contact him? Well, it's all part of his job, isn't it? I mean, he goes off to look for someone to interview them. How did he seem this morning? Fine. Did he take his car? No. It's, uh, it's in the garage. He's been using one of the cabs. Which one? Well, uh... Have you got the keys? Gov, I think you should see this. Professional interests. I bet you Lucy Corrigan's ads in there. Have a look at this. This is interesting. Do you know anything about this? No. No, I've never seen it before. So I didn't say anything to you about wanting to marry somebody? Uh, no, and I don't think he was planning to. It was probably some story that he was working on, or, or maybe he was looking after it for someone, because he certainly wasn't thinking about getting married. I mean, he still is married. Oh, that's right. Uh, Jennifer, isn't it? Yes. And how can you divorce someone you can't find? I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. He had nothing to do with that. She just upped and left and broke his heart. Simon wouldn't. He couldn't hurt anyone. He's too kind. He's too trusting. No, it was your officer, not Simon, that made all the running. I caught them in the bedroom, you know. She had half her clothes off. Talk about throwing yourself at him. So if anything's happened to her, it's not him. It's not Simon's fault. It's hers. Did he find the keys to the cab? <laughs> I swear, last night. I mean, he didn't. Well, you won't mind his looking then, will you? Yeah, check the boots. Just oil. Can you get MIT to get the car down to forensics? I'll see what I can do, Gov. I think she's lying. So do I. Sorry to interrupt. Jack, Gina. I've just had a call from Tam's division. They've recovered a body. Cass? They don't know. Female, yes, but... The head particularly is. They can't tell yet whether the injuries 
occurred anti-mortem more since the body's been in the river. We need a formal ID, but in the meantime... It's all right, I'll go. Thank you. Any sign of Kitson or Pelot yet? No. I left for Paris about five yesterday. I was back here by 11.30 this morning. You're welcome to check my ticket, the credit card I bought it with, and if your French is up to it, I'm sure Madame Broussard will confirm that I stayed at her delightful hotel. What, and you think that's the end of it, dear? I'm sorry? I don't give a stuff that you were in Paris with Madame Busted. Broussard. You're still on bail for assaulting one of my officers. You swore revenge on another one who now happens to be missing. So I don't give a monkey's about your murdy little alibi. And if you think that puts you in the clear, all I can say is somebody's wasted a lot of money putting you through law school. Keep me until the body's been ID'd. I'm afraid she is rather bad. Oh, dear. Yours? That's hard to say. How tall was she? About 5'2". Yeah. Could be, yeah. So, she if that is a 10th barrier, with a tidal flow, I mean... I swear I've just seen Kitson down by the river. He was just, he was just watching. You know they found the body. What? Well, they can't identify it yet, you know. I've told you, she's still in bed, the filthy mare. Shut your mouth. Hey, hey, listen, mate. Oh, listen. I'll bet you any money you like that before the end of the day, Cass walks through that door with a big smile on her face. The body, it's not Cass. It was a student with a history of mental illness. Apparently, she jumped in before, but this time... I reckon she hit a buttress or a piece of the bridge on the way down. That's why the ID wasn't straight. <laughs> this is so cruel, man. It's like someone is twisting the knife in, you know? Yeah, just relax, man. Yeah. Excuse me? The Barlows and their dog? The Barlows. And their dog, yeah. <clears throat> Nick, we're all trying to work our way through this as best we can. But tearing around like a headless chicken is not doing you or any of us any good. I'm letting you go home. No, 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 no way, Sarge. I'm not leaving here till Cass has been found. One way or the other. So we can't be sure whether that first sighting of the body was genuine or not. See, that could give us some breathing space, because the time between the abduction and placing the bodies in the water seems to get longer. What was the time of the last one? A couple of days. It depends, though. The killer needs the cover of darkness, so assuming it nothing happened last night. Could give us a few hours. How do you get on with Martin Porter? Well, I was going to say his alibi is watertight, but uh, it's almost suspiciously so. But no, no, somehow, I don't think it's him, no. Well, there's Shane and his love of dungeons, and heaven knows how many of those he's got access to. I take it there's been no sight of him yet. Not yet. We're just going to focus our efforts and hope we get it right. I see we go with Kitson. Yeah. Mr Barlow, this is getting us nowhere. Unless you can prove that that dog was solely yours. Your wife had every right to cut its testicles off. I think you should also bear in mind that you did kill her battery gun. No, I didn't. Tyson did. Yeah, but after you got it out the cage and fed it to him... It was my bird! And it was an accident. Mrs Barlow, if your husband dropped the charges on you, would you drop the charges on him? Yes. What about Tyson? I bet he doesn't want it now it's lost its precious family jewels. I bet she doesn't want him now, knowing where a stupid little bird has gone. Oh, he can have it. Sweet victory! Still, I can always buy another bird. Perhaps 
this time I might make it a pair. All units, Brim Road, a disturbance. Any units deal, please? She had a one, we're on our way. Come on, come on. Maggie, it's Inspector Gina Gold, Sun Hill. Do you remember me? Someone was pretending to be Sergeant Ackland and stole all your jewellery? Yes, she did. We were wondering whether you'd seen Simon today. Simon Kitson? Simon, oh, yes. Has he been here? Oh, he's always here. I'm sorry, Gina. Can we come in, please, Mrs Burrell? It's very important. What? It's about Sergeant Ackland. Oh. I never liked her. She stole my engagement ring. It's a long story. Don't ask. So, Simon was here today. Today? Who's upstairs? Sorry. Oh. 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 Sorry, it's nothing. There, she's back there. Oh. Oh, look who it is. One sugar. Yes, right, one sugar. Kill. What does Simon do when he comes here? He hides. Oh, hides? When he's in trouble, he hides upstairs from his father. He had a terrible temper. That was when he was a little boy? Yes. So where is he now? He's dead. He died. No, Simon. Not his father. Where is Simon now? Where is she? <laughs> Ask him! Asking you! I don't know! No! No. How do you know what I'm talking about, then? Do you fancy the long way back to the Nick, do you? Hey, there is. I'll tell you what, this is not half tempting. You said that when he was a little boy, Simon used to come here when he was in trouble. So have you any idea where he goes now when he's in trouble? You better ask his sister. Duncan. That'll be Pat. Jack Middles one? Yeah, ask Pat. I don't mind her. My husband, he doesn't like her much. Gov, she and Pillow and Simon Kitson have just been picked up fighting. Oi, I want to work with you. Where is she? Leave it. Oi, Nick. Oi. Oh, no. Come out of here. Where is she? I want to work with you. Where is she? And you know where she Just is. Leave it, Just leave it. Just leave five minutes, Des. I want five minutes with Just you. leave it. Well, just imagine if he walks free because you lose your head. This time we've got to do things by the book. Oh, get off of me. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Now, I know that might sound a bit weird coming from me. What I mean. So what happened? He attacked me. For no reason? Yeah. We've been looking for you all day. I was looking for Cass. How do you know she was missing? I knew she wasn't. She didn't go home to her flat last night. Oh, you were there, were you? Yes, and this morning. Did anybody see you? <sighs> I don't know. She obviously hadn't gone home, so... What? I waited. I was outside waiting to see if she came to work. Look, he's already attacked her once. A nosy, interfering, busybody. Yeah, I was annoyed at WPC Rickman. I mean, wouldn't you be? If someone, a policewoman, no less, went round telling lies about you to your girlfriend and tried to ruin your life. She promised to meet me at the cop idol, but she didn't turn up. The phone was switched off, so, um, 
I tried last night, and then when she wasn't at her flat this morning, and I had a tip off. And a tip off about a body. First I heard of it was when that jerk leapt out of me. It's him. Look, he's already attacked her before. I mean, why would it be me? I tried to save her for heaven's sake. Where were you last night between six and eight? It's none of your business. Why should I have to prove anything to you? You're the ones who've got to prove it, and I'd like to see you try. Because I haven't touched that stupid cow. Well, just like you didn't touch Liz Chambers or Tina Pope. No comment. You take young girls, you manipulate them, beat them up, and leave them out to dry. You knew them all, didn't you? Well, you think I'm not aware of that? What on earth do you think I went to see Pello for? Seems the only way to get this thing cleared up is to find out who did it myself, because you lot can't seem to manage it. We have a witness who is with Cass when you text her last night. What? Arranging to meet in a bar. No, I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I didn't. I didn't! Someone is trying to set me up! Are you still a member of an S&M club? No comment. But you do get off on other people's suffering, don't you? Inflicting pain gives you a certain pleasure, doesn't it? No comment. don't get it, do you? You just don't get it. I love Cass. I love her. I wouldn't hurt her. I want to marry her. I even bought her a ring. And how does your wife feel about that? I have absolutely no idea and I don't care. I haven't spoken to her for 18 months. Well, obviously, it's complicated divorcing someone you can't even find. Or if she's dead. Doesn't matter what I say, does it? You don't believe me. But I promise you, I haven't done anything to anyone. I was looking for Cass, trying to find her because I'm terrified that something's happened to her. I went to see Shane because I think he's the one who's taken her. Look, he's probably sitting there now knowing that she's choking, starving, dying as we speak and getting a huge thrill out of it. Shane Pella does look a very likely suspect. 
Links certainly to at least half the victims. But there's one big difference as far as I can see. He never lived in the Lake District. And he didn't know your wife. That's where she went missing from, isn't it? And you were arrested at the time of her disappearance. Inspector Gold enters the room. Interview terminated. Sorry, Jack, but... Um... No. 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 Yes, can I help you? Mrs. Rickman, I'm Cass's mother. You must be Robbie. The body of police officer Cass Rickman was recovered from the Thames last night. Police have yet to confirm a link between this murder and those of Liz Chambers, Tina Pope, Miriam Ray, Lucy Corrigan and Vicky Cassidy, but say a 32-year-old man is helping them with their inquiries. They're also appealing for witnesses and have released... Nick. Nick, yesterday it was advice. Today it's an order. I'm staying here, Sarge. I don't want to go home. I don't want to be on my own. Uh... OK, um, stay as long as you like. But you're off duty, yeah? I've got this headache. You haven't got any painkillers or something if you, please? Yeah, come on. full-on Barney. Uh, she... We both said some terrible, terrible things and... Um, well, I didn't want to hear him at the time. Do you know what? They were all true. I can't believe that was the last time I spoke to her. Look, I have to take parade. Why don't you stay in here? I'll come back when I've finished here. There's nothing I can say that's going to make this any better. You're grieving. You're angry. And you've every right to be. We've lost a good officer and a colleague. And even more than that, a good friend. 
Someone who was always cheerful. Quick-witted. With an even quicker tongue. Loyal. Simply good fun to have around. So, there is only one thing to do, and that is to get out there and do your job and keep doing it, because that's the way we win. And if any of you are ever in any doubt about that, any doubt at all, So how's it going? Slow. Slow? What slow as in you haven't found anything yet? Okay. Slow is good. Slow means painstaking. Slow means not making a mistake. Yes, yeah, sorry, it's just my head's a bit. I know. What colour hair did she have? Uh, her hair? Yeah, so I can narrow these samples down. Um. Oh, look. Don't worry. I'll look upstairs. They sent a sample over. No. Dark brown. You sure? Yeah, dark brown. She was the best, Mrs. Ripman. Yes. No, I mean it. She was the best, truest friend. Thank you. She made me realise things about myself. Things I. Like Things I didn't want to realise. And now I'm going to do something about it. Yeah. In fact, I've already done something about it, yeah. So if there's anything that I can do for you or your family, then all you have to do is ask. That's very kind. I want to know where Simon is and what's happening. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can tell you. I don't believe you. I'm telling you he didn't do it. He'd never hurt anyone. I really can't comment. I'm not going. I'm going to stay here until I see him. Oh, you can stay. But I promise you, you're not going to see him. Look, yes, maybe there's one thing, one small thing. Go on. The last time I, s I spoke to Cass, she was seeing someone. She talked so much about him, and I don't have his number, I just wondered... He's a journalist, apparently. Simon Kitson. Do you know him? Simon. Simon Kitson, yeah. No, I know him. He didn't care about them. You know, he, um... He was the, um, one that... No, it was me. I cared about her. I loved her. More than anyone, more than... More than anything, and... I, I stupidly, I, I stupidly, stupidly, uh I didn't tell her. I was, I was going, in. I was going to tell her, but... We, uh, we had this... We had this, this row. Nick. <laughs> Mrs Rickman. Short. Longish and wavy. Like that. 
Yeah, I think so. We found that in the boot of the car. Just come through here. Take a seat. Right, Miss Kitson. I appreciate how you feel about your brother. But all we want from you is the truth. Now, you said in your statement yesterday that Simon got home at around midnight. Duncan. The forensic evidence that we recovered from your cars. He didn't. What? He didn't come home. Didn't come home? No. Well, what time did he get back? In the morning. Did he see where he'd been? Did he have your car that night? Pat, did Simon have your car that night? Yes. Sorry? Yes. Yes, he did. Grief aside, anything I should know? Sir? Questions are going to be asked. Oh, looking for someone to blow more radio, are they? Jack. Well, we got him, didn't we? I'm not taking flat for MIT, and nor is anyone in this department. Duncan? <laughs> With respect, sir, I don't think MIT will like the finger being pointed at them. Yeah, well, maybe they should get used to it. Simon Kitson was practically living at this station. Who knows what kind of information he was privy to? I resent that, Duncan. Come on, Jack. Especially coming from you. Gov. OK. That's enough. I'm warning you. Both of you. People are going to want to know exactly why Kitson wasn't stopped a whole lot sooner, let alone how he might have managed to kill one of our own officers. How are you doing? You OK? Yep, I'm fine. They found hair and other samples from at least three of the other women in the car. And to think we pay our taxes to keep people like that alive. All I can say is there's plenty of us that'd be more than happy to save this country a fortune. Was that gear any good, by the way? I don't know. I threw it away. Well, listen, if I can be of any help. I said I don't need it anymore. End of story. Yeah, well, if you ever change your mind, yeah? Don't worry. You've given me plenty. What's that bitch doing in here? She's come to see her brother. They're re-arresting him. What? In custody now. You are detained here to be interviewed regarding the murder of Kath Rickman. Do you understand the severity of that? Do you understand the severity of that? He'll be interviewed by the investigation team shortly. Take him to his cell. Game over. On the bill. Sign up for me as an informer and you can have a happy Christmas at home. Carl's HIV positive. I want to talk to someone! What do you want? I want to make a confession.